In this video, we're going to talk about creating subcatchments. It is part of the editing the network section from ICM basic tutorial. A subcatchment represents the physical area from which a node or other inflow node collects water in a network. Um, so first, we're going to talk about how to create dummy subcatchment boundaries. Um, if you import subcatchment information from other sources or an external database, or create a subcatchment on the subcatchment grid view, it is likely that the boundary is undefined. So we want to create the dummy subcatchment boundaries for those subcatchments. First, we want to open the Langley for subcatchment network. Uh, it is already opened. Um, so then we want to um, click on uh, model and then go to subcatchment and then click on create dummy boundaries. And then you will see there is a confirmation uh, message pop up and then you can just click on yes. And you can see um, the dummy subcatchment boundaries is created for those undefined uh, subcatchment. Next, we're going to go to uh, the creating subcatchment section. So subcatchments can be created on the geoplan view or the grid view. Uh, now we want to um, talk about create subcatchment on the geoplan first. Ensure that we have the Langley for a subcatchments network is opened, which we already did. And we want to select um, subcatchment uh, slash storage from the drop down menu here and then click on this new object button on the toolbar. And then you can see that your cursor changed. And then you can uh, click on the location where you want to add your subcatchment. So again, you can use the snap tool if you want to snap your uh, vertices to an already existing model elements. Uh, and if you want to delete an already created vertices, you can simply hit the backspace key on your keyboard and then recreate that vertices. And then you can double click on uh, anywhere to finish off the subcatchment. And then we can uh, give a subcatchment name. Uh, if you click on this name, same as node, it will um, automatically detect the nodes that are within the subcatchment and then uh, it will drink to this node and then name the subcatchment the same ID as the node ID. And then you can also give it a, another name here. And then you can choose the type. Um, we can choose um, subcatchment. And then you can uh, choose a node that the subcatchment drinks to. Uh, you can, uh, again, it's already automatically populated here for you, but if you can delete this and then um, Choose, click on OK, and then you can add the notes um, after. So you can choose any notes in the in the um, network to do that. Um, this concludes how to um, create the subcatchment on the geoplan view. So we can uh, delete this for now, um, and then we can talk about how to create a subcatchment on the grid view. First, we want to click on this uh, grid window uh, icon and then choose new subcatchment window to open the subcatchment grid. And then we want to make sure that the subcatchment uh, tab is selected. And then we can uh, go to our last row. You will see there's a star icon uh, left, uh, left to this uh, uh, bottom row. Uh, this, this means that we can uh, create a new subcatchment on this row. And then you can give it a subcatchment ID, call it test. And then you can uh, choose the uh, other um, uh, attribute for this uh, subcatchment. After you finish defining the subcatchment, you can click on a different area on this uh, subcatchment uh, tab. And then you can see that a new subcatchment is uh, created for you. Uh, you can continue editing its attribute in the grid view, or you can simply double click on this um, row and then bring out the property sheet for this subcatchment and then add it the uh, properties here. And then you can click on this undo button to um, uh, uh, delete your uh, newly added subcatchment. Okay, so next we're going to talk about changing the display of subcatchments on the geoplan. 
So it is possible to customize the display of subcatchments in the GeoPlan view. So first we want to go to our GeoPlan view and you can right click on the GeoPlan and then select properties and themes. And then you can see the GeoPlan properties and themes uh, window is displayed. Um, so you can find the subcatchment row here and then we want to change the default color for the subcatchment. So maybe we can change it to be uh, blue. And then you can hit apply and then hit OK. And then you can see that the uh, subcatchment uh, color is changed to blue here. So that concludes the uh, tutorial.